Is there going to be a twist in this incredible tale this afternoon in League Two? Bristol Rovers needed to win by five goals more than Northampton Town won by. Northampton raced into a 3-0 lead. Mission impossible for Bristol Rovers, but maybe not for Joey Barton's side because they now lead by seven goals to nil. Northampton conceded against Barrow and... Unbelievably, unthinkably, Bristol Rovers are in pole position. Only a Scunthorpe goal could deny Bristol Rovers automatic promotion. Rob Jones. Yeah, amazing what expectation and the sense of what might be to come in the next few minutes can do to a team and to a ground because the cheers have been replaced by whistles. The fans just desperate for that full time to be blown by the referee, uh, Charles Breakspear. here. I honestly don't think I've seen uh, Scunthorpe string as many passes together in the second half as they have done since we resumed. I reckon if the crowd hadn't run on the pitch and we just finished the game off, that it would have been far less nervous from a Bristol Rovers perspective. But the expectation is here now. But as things stand, they are still holding on. I reckon the board for stoppage time will be coming up very soon, Jeff. But moments away, Bristol Rovers, 7-0, they still lead. Uh, yeah, leading by seven goals to nil. Meanwhile, at Hoker Street, Barrow, these are the Northampton Town players on the pitch, waiting for news checking their mobile phones, wondering if there is any hope at all. They thought they'd clinched promotion. Two Sam Hoskin goals and another from Horsfall. They were 3-0 up. Then just before half-time, Josh Kay got one back for Barrow. That spelt bad news for those supporters. And worse news followed as goal after goal after goal after goal went in at the memorial ground. Joey Barton's side scoring the seven goals, which, as it stands, will mean that Northampton Town have to go into the playoffs and Bristol Rovers will be automatically promoted. By the way, what a performance from Bristol Rovers. They lost six of their first ten games this season. They've had an unbelievable revival under Barton uh, since then. They uh, get close on 10,000 fans every home game and most of those 10,000 fans are poised. And I wouldn't want to be one of the security staff or policemen who are currently on the perimeter because they are going to get swamped any moment now. Let's just go back, shall we? Uh, there's a corner, I believe, and it's just a question of running the clock down, Rob Jones. Yeah, absolutely is, Jeff. And I reckon a man of your strength and posture could keep those supporters at bay. But the ball is right where Bristol Rovers want it, right in the corner. Luke Matheson's going to take a throw in eventually. But that was uh, another slowly taken call here. Elliot Anderson tried to shield the ball as much as he can. But this has been quite an extraordinary go uh, second half. Five goals in 32 minutes, a three-minute blitz of three goals, uh, sorry, three goals in six minutes. And Bristol Rovers are nearly there. Joey Barton, all the players who have come off, the subs, the staff are right on the edge of the touchline here at the Memorial Ground. And Bristol Rovers can sense it. They're so, so near. And Scunthorpe, I don't think they've got anything left in the tank. They haven't, you might argue, for some months relegated from the Football League on Good Friday and this is the latest chapter in a pretty sorry season and what a contrast for Bristol Rovers what a day for them it is perfect timing, as I mentioned. Not in the top three all season. They could be in the top three at the full-time whistle. Will be in the top three at the full-time whistle. It's reminiscent all those years ago of the Grand National when Red Rum gunned down Crisp in the dying seconds, the dying yards of the race when Crisp looked to have it absolutely won. The full-time whistle has gone down at the memorial ground. The referee makes a beeline for the... Uh, the sanctuary of the dressing room. Here come the fans. Bristol Rovers have achieved mission impossible. They have scored seven goals for the first time since 1964. And those seven goals are enough to take them up to League One under Joey Barton, former Fleetwood manager, controversial over the years, on and off the pitch. But my word, what a job he has done. They stuck by him. They were relegated from League One under Joey Barton when he took over in February 2021. Lost six of their first ten games. Didn't look for a minute like they'd be going straight back to League One. But that is just what has happened. And those fans, they turn out in their numbers every single week. And they lord Joey Barton. They raise him on their show and why not an astonishing performance from their team heartbreak for Northampton their fans have made the trip to Barrow and it's one heck of a trip and they were three goals up they were cruising to League One and suddenly they find they're going to have to be in the playoffs 
instead. There's Joey Barton. He's got the cap in his hand because he knows he'll lose it otherwise. But he won't care today because he has won this game and he has won promotion. Astonishing stuff. Edry, by the way, have scored again against Montrose. They lead 5-4 on aggregate. Uh, they were 3-0 down on aggregate in uh, that game. But Bristol Rovers, 7. Scunthorpe, 0. Staggering, staggering stuff. And here's the table, just so that you don't have to take my word for it. Forest Green are the champions. Uh, icing on the cake as far as Dale Vince's side is concerned. Um, they've drawn at Mansfield today. Exeter lost. Uh, but look, Exeter have achieved what they wanted to uh, achieve. Julian Tag, the chairman, I'll be delighted with after 10 seasons in League Two. They are promoted and Bristol Rovers bounce straight back under Joey Barton. Joey's got a promotion on his CV. Northampton, absolute heartbreak for them because they miss out um, by virtue of goals scored. It, it just as, as close as that in the end. Goals scored means that Northampton miss out on automatic promotion. Port Vale, fifth on 78. Swindon, sixth on 77. Mansfield, seventh on 77. It's Northampton against Mansfield in the playoffs. Port Vale against Swindon. You have to feel for Sutton, but they've had a wonderful first season in the EFL. Absolutely astonishing. They finish one point outside the playoff places. They reach the EFL trophy final as well. Matt Gray's done a brilliant job there. Tranmere miss out on uh, the playoffs as well by a couple of points. Then comes Salford, Newport and Crawley in the top half. Down at the bottom, Scunthorpe and uh, Oldham relegated. We knew the rest in truth. Barrow, Stevenish, Carlisle, Harrogate, Rochdale, Hartlepool, rotten end of the season, but they have survived first season back in uh, League Two. Uh, Walsall, Colchester, Bradford, uh, and Leighton Orient in the bottom half. Uh, so those are the um, details. Mansfield, Northampton, uh, 7.45 next Saturday on Sky Sports and Swindon against Port Vale on Monday from midday. Monday, May the 15th from midday.